Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great day. Please leave your prayer request at the bottom. My email is in the description. So, the story of Moses has been on me very strongly since last night. And I just keep hearing in my spirit, as I deliver the Jewish people out of Egypt, I will deliver you. And I just think about the story of Moses and how God saved Moses. God used Moses to deliver his people from the land of Egypt and into the promised land. And, you know, God's going to look at Jesus and say, son, go get your bride and we are going to be delivered from this world into the hands of Jesus, where we belong. Our promise, our blessed hope is Jesus. Um, you know, when I really think about it, the Jewish people were, were living in Jesus or <laughs> Lord have mercy guys. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'll get it out. <laughs> okay. So the Jewish people were living in Egypt, but Egypt wasn't their home. You know that saying that we say, we're in the world, but we're not of the world? Well, the Jewish people were living in Egypt, but they were not of Egypt. That was not where they belonged. And God, God sent Moses to deliver them. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. And God is going to send Jesus to deliver us. How amazing that God has tied two stories together in the Bible. History repeating itself, but with a twist. I, I love to say that history always, re always repeats itself, but it's got a little bit of a twist. <laughs> um, you know, God loves you so much. God is showing us, hey, hold on. I'm about to send Jesus. The wait is almost over. We've just got to hang in there just a little longer. Just a little longer. We can feel that the rapture is right there. We can feel that it's around the corner. God will never back down on his promises. But I promise you, we will, we will be given into the hands of Jesus. We will be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, and we will go home. We will be at home with our King, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Home is right there. We are almost home, brothers and sisters. Please hold on. Give your life to Jesus. Pray. Seek the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Give all the honor, praise, and glory to him. Hold on tight. Because we could see a little bit more bumpy ride until we're home. We may not know the day or hour. But we know it is approaching. We know it is right there. And we know that God will come in his perfect timing. God will, in his perfect timing, will look at his son and say, Son, go get your bride. Bring her home. We're the bride. And we're also known as children of God. God has adopted. Once we accept the free gift of salvation, we're adopted. We're, we go from, from being Gentiles to being a child of God and the bride of Jesus. Oh my goodness. How amazing is that? Like, ah, God, you are so amazing. Like, ah, we're almost home, guys. Almost, almost. God, today would be a great day. Today would be a great day. But we know that God's perfect timing will be the best day. So, no matter what you're facing, give it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Pray for Israel. And most importantly, pray for the left behind. 
Sorry about my dog. I don't know where Jill is. She's in the living room barking for, I don't know. She does that at random all day. She loves to call me, I guess. It's her mom call. But she's probably mad because I turned the TV off so I can make my video. But, yeah. Just hold on tight. Jesus is on his way. All right, if you have any prayer requests, leave them in the bottom. Dreams or visions, my email's in the description. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye, y'all.